Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this video, I'm gonna do something that's really quick and easy, but it's kind of a cool effect that I didn't actually, I never talk about it until I realized, oh, I should have talked about it. It's um, how um, Blender particles can be used to control the points, each point of this mesh. Um, and we can connect that to SketchUp. I just realized that. So if we have like this cube over here, and then we just um, create a blend of particles and then emit from vertices. Um, how many particles we have here? Eight. Just emit all at the, f at the first frame and then let's have a look at the result. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is wrong. Okay, don't use random. Turn off randoms and then now we have eight vertices. Um, correctly uh, matching the number of the vertices by this mesh. If we use fetch off and um, objects in and particle system, even though this particle system is currently still alpha and it's pretty basic, it can grab the objects and then we can use a fewer draw, plug the particles in there but use the polygon indices or use the polygon edges into it now you can see the points the particle points become this guy's points okay so this is a stretch of particle driving particle points drive so that's um fairly interesting the we can turn off the gravity but we can have like a turbulence for example and now the objects you know kind of behaving like particles but it's uh be careful you particle also died after 50 frame by default so always have a lot of particle stuff you, you need to consider okay that's uh that can be interesting definitely um, in fact, if you are, let's say if you are outputting this as bmesh mk2 with the edges, particle and edges, now this is a real object and we can use uh, skin modifier for example, yeah this is uh, Interesting. Oh, just just now it it died, but ah, that's interesting. Let's keep asking for skin data. Yeah, I think that's a that's weird. I think that thing should be on. No wonder. Anyway, that's a little bit of hiccup there a little bit of glitch but you can see this is uh, interesting what if we put like a what if we use the monkey for example or don't use the monkey yet monkey has a lot of numbers uh, use the torus get selection and the torus doesn't have particle system yet we could change this guy into the torus Mm. yeah we need some kind of proper system to do that maybe using animation nodes or well the the idea here is if, if we use animation nodes and then use a copy object data say we have we have this particle thing and we have uh, multiple objects like let's say the cylinder or maybe icosphere let's say this is our master I'll just name it our master okay and back to spread shop get our master object if we back to animation nodes and then replace master with the torus 
now we have the simulations and everything working but this guy's become something else see the master maybe we need more particles so vertices 1202 so yeah the spread chop seems to be conforming to that although there looks like something funky happening there the edges are not correct why is that very interesting maybe polygon oh, still the same I wonder why so that's uh, another potential glitch or hiccup let's try the icosphere plug into the master now Check it this out. Maybe I need to refresh it. Object particle system. How many points do we have? Icosphere. Icosphere have 42 vertices. Ah. Okay. Apparently, I might have used a different number on the torus just now. So, again, we can have uh, both animation nodes um, and stretch of showing. Now, with this guy, I want to turn it back into torus and then refresh. And then we check the number of this number of point of this guy. 576 okay so we need to always check the length the number of vertices of this guy let's check five seven six so we need to match it to the particle system so that's a, a little bit better setup select our master and this emission number copy data path object data object id set objects and then particle system count control alt shift command c paste it in there so this should be pointing at the particle system. So BB boy that uh, particles count. Plug this guy in there and refresh. Data. particle settings count oh maybe let's check it mess objects has no attribute particles Why data particles particle settings count? Why data uh, maybe it's the modifier particle system modifier. This should be.
Well, anyway, this the number of the vertices should match the number of particles here. By doing that, we have proper look. And currently, it looks like really slow because of this animation nodes and then the node three. Supposedly, if we just switch to full screen, it's a lot faster, just like full speed. And now the turbulence is um, affecting our torus. And the idea is to be able to easily use any kind of mesh data and affect it, get the instant result. So monkey, and then back to compositing, just use the monkey instead, put into the master, and refresh. Oh, actually animation notes is not updating, okay. It's really weird because when the node tree is showing and it's kind of really slow but if I hide this it's a little bit faster but 3D view full will be like a lot faster so that's the monkey being influenced by particles yeah so there's a lot of possibilities here um, but this is just the basics so basically um, if switch off reading the points of particles of the mesh, you can control the mesh surface to kind of follow the particles. Okay? Um, anyway, that's all uh, what we get for now. I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you have any comments or feedbacks. Done.